How do I cause particles to rotate? What we're going to do is create a system by which our particles spin throughout their lifetimes. We're not just assigning some initial rotation, which I can kind of show you how to do as a, a bonus here. But I'm going to right-click here inside my module list. We'll come down to uh, – here's rotation. This is where you would set your initial rotation. By default, you'll notice all of my particles are oriented the same way. What we want to do is have kind of a spin. So we come down one more level to rotation rate. And I'm going to set our initial rotation rate. As soon as I do this, my particles start turning. Now, you'll notice they're all turning in a clockwise direction. Let's take a look at our properties. By default, this uh, start rotation rate has a, uh, a uniform distribution, which gives it a min and a max value currently set between 0 and 1. So they're all going to rotate in the same direction at varying degrees. If we set minimum to negative 1, we're going to get true random rotation. Uh, between the speeds of negative 1 and 1. If we wanted to, we could set this to the same value in both directions, so 0.5 and 0.5. So now everybody is rotating at the exact same rate. And really, that's all there is to it. You would just determine how fast you wanted your particles to spin and then give them some randomization. So let's say maybe between negative 0.2 and positive 0.2. And there you go. Now we have uh, varying degrees of rotation in between those two values. That is how you can create rotation in your particles, which wraps up this How Do I video.